So guys, I am back with another How Divers 2 video and today guys, we have a packed one to go through. We have a brand new warband to check out. We have brand new unreleased stratagems to check out too in regards to gameplay, including the nuke, which looks unreal. We have a gruesome insight into the automatons, which are safe for later on in the video. That thing is disgusting and much more, but let's go. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and now the winner of my previous 2100 super credit giveaway is seen on screen now. If this is you, hit me up on my Discord link down below. Now if you guys want to win a copy of this game or 2100 super credits, it's as simple as this. Liberate this video with a massive thumbs up. Let's try and reach 21 likes. That'd be incredible. Uh, make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on and leave me a comment down below. I will pick a winner from the comment section of this video and announce them on my next how divers 2 video so good luck everybody okay so first things first we'll start with a new warband which arrived today guys it's called the democratic detonation looking pretty badass from what we've seen in regards to the leaks so far okay so let's check it out now there's a few new weapons here there's three sets of armor including capes and a few other bits so yeah but let's check out this first armor the ce27 grand breaker see here it's got the servo assisted increases throw range by 30 percent and provides a plus 50 percent limb health pretty cool okay so we have the helmet to go with that and then we have the cape here called the harbinger of true equality okay so we have right here guys a new grenade the g123 thermite pretty badass with a damage of 100 penetration of 7 outer radius of a 2 and a fuse time of 2.9 seconds we then guys have a brand new weapon called the br14 adjudicate this is a marksman rifle um damage of 80 capacity of a 25 recoil of 50 a fire rate of 550 and it's a medium armor penetrating weapon this is a marksman by the way so yeah pretty cool okay so we're going to quickly move on and first up we have here a new premium Booster, the expert, extraction pilot. Uh, lowers the time it takes for the extraction shuttle to reach the extraction beacon. Pretty cool, pretty helpful, pretty useful. Okay, so we have another armor set here called the CE-07 Demolition Specialist. We have our obviously helmet and the body. Okay, so here we have that engineering kit as the armor passive. Reduces, well, further reduces recoil when crouching or prone by 30%. Increases initial inventory and holding capacity of grenades by a plus two. The cape we have here, guys, is called the Eagle's Fury. And we have a new weapon as well, guys, called the um, R36 Eruptor. This is classed as an explosive weapon. And it's pretty good because its damage is quite high at 380, capacity is only a 5, the recoil is a uh, 75 and the fire rate is a 25. Now, if you've seen this in action guys, it like shoots single shots which explode. It's sort of like a mini grenade launcher kind of thing, but it's, it looks quite, quite brutal, I'm not going to lie. We then have a new uh, victory pose right there. Okay, so moving down and we have more armor here. We have the FS. 55 devastating i don't know why about this reminds me of a titan out of destiny but it does armor passive fortified very reduces recoil and crouching or prone by 30 percent and provides a 50 percent resistance to explosive damage jeez okay so the helmet is looking pretty good too and we have then the freedoms tapestry which is the premium cape we have two uh weapons on this page on the final page of this premium warband we have the cb9 exploding crossbow which from the gameplay I saw previously didn't look that great um, but I'm pretty sure they may have changed it uh, but we don't know until we actually purchase this and, and try it because its damage is 420, capacity of 5, recoil of 35 and a fire rate of 5 class is an explosive we then guys have this right here, the GP31 grenade pistol this thing looks like an absolute beast because its damage is 600 i'm pretty sure the grenade launcher stratagem is only a 400 damage but then you got to remember this one only fires one between each reload so yes yeah, making up for that um its capacity is one a recoil is 43 and its fire rate is 900 uh, it's one-handed and it's explosive which is quite obvious now the thing about this is it's a secondary and you got to remember a lot of people like myself we use secondaries in this game to escape danger at close range say we get like over crowded by bugs or bots and we need to like quickly pull out our secondary and blow them away i don't think that's going to work with this because 
if you miss or if you shoot someone too close to you and it explodes in your face it's just going to do more damage to you so i'm not sure that's going to work with this but it's going to take obviously a certain kind of player style to enjoy this and make the most out of this grenade pistol but either or guys it's definitely one for the collection it's definitely one to use now the premium ball warband the democratic detonation only costs 1000 super credits now again i'm giving away 2100 on every single video yes you heard that right every single video so yeah you want to win it it's as simple as dropping a like on this video comment down below and making sure you are subbed simple as that my beautiful people okay so we're going to move on now to leaks and data mines so if you don't want to be spoiled by things to come leave the video right now okay so first things first we have a post by iron sights a legendary leaker and data miner uh which is titled the automaton centrifuge mixer and this thing looks absolutely gruesome i'm i have to play this in black and white guys because yeah you probably can see what that is absolutely disgraceful now these are centrifuge vials as well and this is what's used i believe to power their ships i mean humans to power their ships jesus that's disgusting but it's a great great insight into how disgraceful the automatons are and why we need to take them out man oh man that's absolutely brutal but yeah credit to uh iron sights for this one okay so we're going to move on guys to new stratagems and these were dropped to the world wide webs by emptiness who's a worthy leaker over on those how divers leak so credit to this guy and first up we have the nuke now, i'm not going to show the entirety of the gameplay of this is like three or four minutes of it if you want to see that i'll link it down below but what we do see guys is absolutely brutal this thing looks potent as heck but you need to stand far far away from this thing so you need to throw it and then run because from the further stats we see here um, we see it's got a calling time of three seconds cooldown of 1200 seconds it does the same damage as a hell bomb that's four thousand damage and an ap or armor penetration value of a 10 and it has a kill zone radius of 50 meters and a pushback radius of 75 injury. meters what now injury. it's said that this will almost destroy everything except mission essential so yeah this thing is gonna be absolutely brutal my guys but again credit to emptiness for the actual the footage of this nuke stratagem jeez okay so next up again by emptiness we have the eagle air to air missile test and again this one looks quite good too i'm not gonna lie now a few more details on this one he states it's a high damage stratagem with a direct hit doing 600 plus a 200 explosion damage it's a heavy armor penetration of five it shoots two missiles at two random enemies nearby uh if within the 45 meter range also doesn't seem to prioritize air enemies which is pretty cool too and all in all it just looks like a great great new stratagem now when these will arrive we have no idea i'd probably say close to the next war bond but who knows guys they could be but actually in game now they're working in the files people are being able to bring them into their own game via mods and that so they actually are fully working so there's nothing stopping them dropping them tomorrow we just never know but a nuke especially cannot wait to play around with i mean yeah it's gonna be absolutely crazy but there we have it guys for another how divers 2 video guys if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people I will see you on that next one.